Warning, this video only suitable for math geeks. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tron EXD of SC2 Customs, and I'm bringing you Sodas, Storm of the Imperial Sanctum. Uh, this is the channel where I'm going to go through a bunch of different customs in SE2 as they pop up or become popular or whatever, and just uh, show them to you guys, uh, tell you a little bit about them, maybe pack your interest, and hopefully get you to get a good time. Oh yeah. But uh, today, I'm not actually showing a lot of gameplay from Sodus. I'm just, this is basically a mechanics tutorial, because recently there was a major patch in Sodus called Sodus 4. In that patch, they revised a lot of the mechanics for SOTUS. And um, so I'm going to go through and basically talk about how the mechanics have changed and uh, eventually start making some like item tutorials or something. But uh, I'm going to try to keep this video as concise as possible because it really doesn't need to be very long. Uh, one of the things that they changed was armor. And I think that the new armor system is kind of interesting. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So... They have the formula for armor inside of the game. Uh, it is shown here. The, the uh, formula for armor is actually under the agility attribute. So just in case you guys are wondering where it is, yeah, that's where it is. Armor used to use numbers that easily correlated to incoming damage, but now it uses a very fat number and an exponential decay graph. Uh, in case you're wondering what that looks like, let me just go ahead and show you uh, an Excel spreadsheet that I whipped out. Oh yeah, whipped it out, whipping it out. You ready for this? I'm, I'm whipping it out. All right, where is it? Here it is. Okay, um, this is the Excel spreadsheet that I came up with uh, to kind of visually represent uh, what the formula actually means. I did a slight modification to the formula so that it represented. Uh, damage reduction rather than the amount of damage that you take at the end of the formula, but it ends up, you know, it still means the same thing. All of the values are still consistent. It's all basically, it's the same data, it's just in a different form. At the very top, there's a little field where it uses the formula. I can put it in my armor and it'll uh, show me what my damage reduction turns out to be. But uh, below that, there's a gigantic chart giving example values of armor. And there's a corresponding uh, line graph that uh, kind of shows all of this in action. Um, I'm a big visual learner myself, so I can only imagine that this uh, will potentially help somebody or another. But, uh, but basically, what, is, what this all ends up meaning is that uh, the more armor you have, the less the next chunk of armor will give you. So you can sort of think of them as diminishing returns on armor. Um, there are a lot of things in the game that are getting diminishing returns, and armor is one of them. So in the table, there are three fields. There is the armor value, the damage reduction value, and the next 700 value. Um, the armor and the damage reduction are fairly self-explanatory, but the next 700 is because um, the item that gives you the most armor in the game is... It's a diamond bark, and the diamond bark gives you 700 armor. So... Essentially, this is basically charting how much damage reduction a diamond bark will give you, granted that your armor is already at a certain point. So, for instance, if your armor is at 2,000 even, and you buy a diamond bark, it's going to give you another 10% damage reduction. Um, if you're at a, or 10,000 armor, and you buy a diamond bark, it's only going to give you 0.2% damage reduction. So there's a gigantic difference there that I think is extremely important even though it's not actually too possible to get uh, 10,000. So, um, what you should do with these numbers is basically try to find some sort of efficient medium. So the main thing I want you to see on the graph is how dramatically um, everything starts to slow down at about 80% damage reduction. Because um, at that point, the slope has decayed so much that every additional point in armor just isn't doing very much at all. So it seems like the most efficient amount of armor you can have is about 3,000 or 4,000, but um, that is an incredibly large, um, like 80% in and of itself is a lot of damage reduction. Uh, we're talking about turning a tower that's doing 120 damage into a tower that does 20 damage or 15 damage, uh, as illustrated here. I went ahead and equipped um, six of those diamond barks 
and I ran up and let a tower hit me. I had 5,000 armor and it barely even touched me. It only did about 10 damage. So, um, essentially, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that armor makes a big difference. Um, as you progress through the game, your armor will naturally increase, but you can also artificially increase it very, very dramatically by buying armor-increasing items. Um, near the beginning of the game, it'll make a much more significant difference than near the, the, the end of the game. The uh, diminishing return on armor is much more forgiving at the beginning of the game. So if you buy like a, a diamond plating thing, uh, it'll give you about 20% damage reduction near the beginning of the game. Whereas uh, if you buy it much later, it'll only give you maybe like 10. So um, also um, the extra physical reduction will enable you to lane against creep much longer than you normally would. So if you coincidentally take damage from a creep or a tower or another player's uh, physical attacks, you don't quite suffer as much as you would otherwise. Um, it'll also help you uh, perhaps get early kills against melee heavy heroes that think that they can fight you. Um, it'll also help you survive uh, getting ganked from uh, bitches, little bitches that like to gank in the beginning of the game because they are little bitches. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I guess to kind of sum it all up, consider getting armor. Um, I'm not trying to tell you guys that, you know, armor is like the most important stat and you should always get it or something, but I guess just be aware of how much it helps. Consider getting armor. Um, if you're fighting against melee heavy heroes like Zircon and Geminis and they're kind of raping your face, consider getting armor because it will, it will make a gigantic difference. You can very efficiently get like uh, 3.5k or so armor and have that give you about 80% damage reduction and it will make a gigantic difference and you'll notice it almost immediately. So yeah, um, I think the next one I'm going to do is spell mitigation, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. So this is Tron DxD of SC2 Customs. I uh, hope you found this useful and I will see you later.